If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Really like the look of this set, and it's pretty easy to get. Ice Crown Citadel, Heroic 10 Man to pick up the shoulders, pretty decent drop rate from Prince Valinar himself. Next up is the chest piece, which is crafted from your local blacksmith with cattle level blacksmithing, or you could just step up and buy it on the auction house, so that's an easy piece as well. Now the belt happens to come from Nihilotha, the raid, mythic version, but I think you could also get it from Horrific Visions, uh, not 100% sure. Tekris is the boss, 8% on the drop rate, there's a lot of lookalikes on that belt, so check Wowhead for more information. The legs, part of the same crafted set from Cataclysm, uh, from your local blacksmith, that would be Vicious, Ornate, Pyrium, Lagards, of course, that's what they're called, that's what else would they be called? The feet, Part of the same set as the belt, which is Mythic Nihilotha, Prophet Skitra is the boss for the boots of hallucinatory reality. Now we're going to move on to the hands, which are from Ice Crown Citadel, part of the same tier set as the shoulders, Blood Queen Lanathel, decent drop rate for the hands, of course. Now we're going to hook you up with the back. Uh, Cathedral of Eternal Night. Now there's a lot of pieces that you can go with the back here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the helm, Paramount Orthogonal Optics, BFA level engineering, check a local engineer for that. And the weapon is a drop from Uldum BFA. So you gotta farm mobs there. The shoulders here are from Throne of Thunder, regular version. Tordos is the boss, kind of a fair drop rate to get the shoulder guards of Sentipedal Destruction, whatever that is. Doesn't sound really nasty or devastating to me. The chest is basically a basic drop piece from Warlords of Draenor, various mobs, and the auction house for the Blade Spire Breastplate. You can also find out that there are about three or four lookalike types. Uh, the belt is from Terrace of the Endless Spring Heroic. Uh, Lyshi is the boss, 12% on the drop rate for the belt. Next up are the legs, which we're pulling from Frostfire Ridge, various mobs there if you want to farm it, Blade Spire Leg Plates, same drop set as the chest from Warlords of Draenor. Now we're going to go all the way back to Vanilla. These boots really go well with this set, Dark Crest Sabatons, Hellfire Ramparts if you want to farm it, but I suggest just buying it on the auction house. The hands, Pathogenic Gauntlets, part of the same tier set as the shoulders, which is of course from Throne of Thunder. The back is Revendreth, Forge Master Matalav, or if you're Revendreth, uh, part of the Venthyr, you could also get a look-alike on that back piece. Tabard, better hurry up and get it, 9.0 PvP reward, uh, I think it's 2k that you gotta get to get that uh, Tabard. And the headpiece, Legion level engineering, auction house are crafted, and the weapon, Endbringer, Underbog, of course from Burning Crusade. If you're feeling a little chilly, well, that's because we're showing a Frost DK Xmog Dread Wake Pauldrons. Burning Throne Mythic, the Mother of Night, is the boss. 10% on the drop rate for those shoulders. So there's a bit of a mix here. Uh, the chest and the legs you can simply purchase from the Legacy Quartermaster and Dalaran, Wrath of the Lich King version, which of course are an old war tier. And the other pieces, particularly the belt, the gloves, the boots, and the shoulders, our two of Sargeras Mythic for the most part. Kill Jaden here, Soul Render's Great Belt is the name of that belt. Next up, we talked about this, the legs, Dalaran, Wrath of the Lich King version. You could buy it for 200 gold. So if you have 400 gold, boom, boom, you just have the chest and the legs immediately. Very easy pickup. Now we're going to move on to the boots, which are from two Sargeras Mythic, various mobs. Or, you're going to have to have a lot more gold to buy this on the auction house. Love the way that cape looks, by the way. It looks very frosty, K. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the hands, which are the Dreadwake Gauntlet. So this is a mix of the Dreadwake set from the Burning Throne Mythic, as well as uh, a tier from Old War, which you mostly can buy in Dalaran. The back really makes this set look nice. Uh, go to Eastern Plagueland, drop a nuclear bomb, loot the mobs, or buy it on the auction house. The Helm Frost Forged Ring Helm, Anixia's Lair, so it's a quick, quick 
raid you could hook up with, and the weapon is Naxxramas 10-man Hygen the Unclean drops the axe of the mace. If this looks familiar, yes, I've done this set before, but I made a couple of changes here. The shoulders, Tumasar Garrus LFR Fallen Avatar is a boss to get those cool looking DK shoulders from Legion. Next up, we're gonna go to Wrath of the Lich King, very simple piece for the chest as well as the legs, part of the Worm Skull set, drop set from Wrath of the Lich King. You can buy both those pieces on the auction house or farm it off of Umkar Keep. Uh, the other one is just the Nexus, that would be the legs. But first, the belt. Tumasar Garrus LFR, part of the same set as the shoulders, of course, from Legion. Kill Jaden is the boss there. Now, we're going to talk about the legs, which I said before, part of the drop set from Wrath of the Lich King. Nexus, if you want to farm it. Auction House, if you want to save yourself some time and just simply buy it. Next up, we have a Night Elf dude showing the boots, spiked Terror Wake Great Boots. Tumasar Garrus LFR, so we're getting a lot of leverage out of LFR here. Uh, Tumasar Garrus, of course, the shoulders, the belt, and the boots. The wrists, as you can see, warmongering. If you hoard, you have to go wild. Mantle of the Forge Master's Dark Blades is the cloak. Next up, the Tabard, Nightfallen Tabard, Suramar, Nightborn, Quartermaster, Gold, and Rep is necessary to pick up that piece. The headpiece is a Paladin recolor, but DK is combined on the auction house or farm it off of Tumasar Garrus in LFR. Sinful Gladiator's Cleaver, Conquest points to buy that axe. Here's a classic look for Blood Decays or even Unholy. I'm not so sure it works for Frost. We're pulling the shoulders out of Mugushan Volts. That would be Heroic Version from the Spirit Kings. 15% drop rate on that. Next up is the chest. So this is basically a mix of a set from. Miss Pandaria, and also a tier set from Ulduar in Wrath of the Lich King. With the belt, uh, well, we got a few different places, because the belt is from Siege of Ogamar, uh, Ashenwall Girdle Mythic. Now, Mythic is kind of strange. Some stuff doesn't drop anymore, some stuff does, and then you have lookalikes that drop, but, so check Wowhead for that. I'm sure you could pick that up if you don't already have it. Ulduar for the legs, so that tier set from Ulduar is represented in the chest as well as the legs. Now we're going to move on to the boots, and we have a Night Elf showing the boots of hallucinatory reality. And where would you find hallucinatory reality? Well, that would be Nihilotha Heroic, Prophet Sitgra, 8% uh, on the drop rate. The wrists are the Bracers of Defiled Earth, Terrace of the Endless Spring, Elder Regal. Matter of fact, it drops from all the Elder bosses there. So about a 16% drop rate. Next up, we're gonna hook you up with the back, which is Ravenous Great Cloak, Black Rock Foundry, Oreo Cookie, as I like to call that dude, even though I know that's not his real name. And the helm, Garalon's Hollow Skull, Heart of Fear Heroic. Garalon is the boss, 12% on the drop rate for the cool looking headpiece. And last but not least is the weapon from Firelands. A mix of basically two different tiers from two different X-Packs. Hellfire Citadel Heroic is the first one. Demon Gaze Pauldrons, as you can see the boss, and a 12% drop rate. And this set matches perfectly with the Dragon Soul LFR tier set, which of course is from Cataclysm. It drops from the first four bosses, the chest piece, Necrotic Bone Plate, Breastplate, pretty easy pickup there. Next up, the belt, Hellfire Citadel Heroic. So we're pulling the shoulders as well as the belt from Hellfire City Del Heroic and I do believe the boots, maybe even the bracers, we'll get to that in a second. Legs are the Necrotic Boneplate Greaves, Dragon Soul LFR. Once again, the strats from the first four bosses. The Unsleeping Boss has the best drop rate though. Looking pretty epic on a Worg in here. Stompers of Brazen Terror, Hellfire City Del Heroic, Kill Rock Deadeye. 18% on the drop rate for the Stompers, aka Feet. Next up, the Wrists. Keep in mind these Wrists, Wrist Plate of the Wretched, Hellfire Citadel Heroic. Of course, you could go with the Gloves if you want as well. Your choice, Shadow Lord Iskar drops the Bracers though. The Back Piece is Wrath of the Lich King level tailoring. Check your local tailor, check your local auction house. For the Frost Guard Drape, goes with a lot of sets, so it's a worthy pickup. The Helm, BFA, which is 
BFA level engineering on that headpiece. And the final piece is the weapon, Eternal Palace LFR from Radiance of Ashara for that mace. My name is Luxley. I want to thank everybody for stopping by and leave you with this final thought. Whatever it is, by you, whether it's morning, afternoon, like it is here, or night, make your day epic.